excuse my nappy headed self. I know I definitely uh scream that I've uh, definitely showered. I haven't. I got to go get a shower. Got off work, tired, sleepy, and ready to just chill for the day. So I haven't watched this. I'm about to pull it up. Now, I may have touched base on stuff like this or done stuff like this. I can't remember. But if you remember the Watchers, or sorry, Watchers channel came from BuzzFeed. They did a whole big ordeal by putting their foot in their mouth. And I have to say, uh, if you don't like pausing a lot, I'm probably going to pause a lot just to kind of intervene here and there. But I would like to go ahead and bring you up to speed with this video. Uh, I haven't actually watched it yet. I just saw a tidbit, just about you know, five, six seconds of it. And I thought, you know what? I want to do something a little different this time with a, a video. And actually, basically live react. I don't want to uh, spoil it for myself. I would like to kind of uh, see what their reaction is and kind of point out some of the flaws in it. All right, let's go ahead and see what this dumpster fire is going to do. Hey everyone, last Friday we announced that we're leaving YouTube and launching our new streaming platform. We messed up. A lot of you spoke out with extremely valid comments and concerns, and we want to take the time now to address those. I assume this is because their butthole hurts and they took a lashing. Uh, like I said, I do understand they make really good high quality content, but I think they missed the mark. We've been reading the things you've been saying, and we're sorry for the way we handled this, as well as the way we communicated it. We understand where you're coming from, and we are making immediate changes. First, we want to affirm that you are the reason why we've been able to do anything at this company. You helped us every step of the way when we left BuzzFeed to start Watcher at the top of the pandemic in 2020. I'm sorry. Um, so here's another little thing. Now, maybe it's just me, but his eyes seem like they're reading. I get it's a PR thing. And most time when you do a boo-boo, you need to read off of a cue card or a sheet to try to uh, not look stupid and a little bit more intelligent in what you're talking about. Maybe that's what it is, uh, but this is crazy. This is an apology video at this point. You've supported us uh, in so many ways by watching our content, attending our live shows, buying our merch, becoming members of our Patreon, and giving words of encouragement over the years. Uh, and we are incredibly grateful for your support. We're sorry for how we originally delivered our goodbye message to YouTube. It was insensitive. We didn't properly express how much we appreciate all of you. And we did a really bad job of explaining the reasoning behind this transition. We also. Um, I don't, I don't think they're, they're still understanding. It wasn't, uh, at least not what I saw. It had nothing to do with uh, how it was handled. It was the fact that they were willing to do it. At least that's what I've seen anybody talk about. It was the fact that they were like, they spoke more, more along the lines. It was, it was basically money. And yeah, I get that they're saying they didn't touch base on, uh, you know, their, their subscribers or the people that watch them, the people that make their content, you know, uh, and make, basically make their ad revenue, stuff like that. It just almost seems still completely disingenuous. So I want to deeply apologize for our ignorance around the impact of the cost. We regret stating and implying that it's a price that anybody can afford, and we fully acknowledge that it is not. We didn't take the proper consideration for how this cost would affect you and hope you know that we are taking this as a serious learning experience. With that in mind, we're making some changes to ensure that there's a way for our community to continue watching our content for free. If you want to watch our shows early and ad free, you can catch them on the Watcher platform a month earlier. So, okay, so that's not the best thing, but is that not something I already stated? I, I said, you know, there's a lot of people that use Patreon for that. I'm not saying it's a good thing, but that should have been like the first thing they thought of was obviously it's going to get money off people, but some people are willing to pay for it to see it a month early, a week early, a day early. It doesn't matter. They're still willing to pay it. That would have been a way better move. I mean, that should have been the get. Like, you should have understood if somebody's going to pay it, you got to give them a real good incentive to want to do that. I know it's a little shady that they're going to, you know, be able to have stuff done a month ahead of time instead of uploading it. And actually, this seems a little bit... <laughs> this is probably a part they shouldn't have been transparent about because... It's going to make it look like they are purposely rigging this to make more money. After that, you'll be able to watch our shows on YouTube for free. For those that have already subscribed to the platform, we are so grateful for your support. But if this change has you rethinking your membership, we will issue a full refund. And all past episodes and series will remain available on YouTube. As for the question of why we decided to launch our own platform, when we started Watcher in 2020, we wanted to create shows that we were proud of that we had ownership over and that would provide you the caliber of content that we felt you deserved. 
However, we were finding it harder and harder to stay relevant to advertisers and the constantly changing YouTube landscape. We faced some incredibly challenging I just noticed decisions. I'm blocking the guy on the we left. We didn't want like to bad. compromise our content to ensure they met advertising requirements. And we definitely did not want to lay people off that have brought Watcher to life behind the scenes. And we didn't want to bring Watcher to a close, which would have happened if we stayed solely on YouTube. That's why we decided to launch the platform, so that we as a company could continue, we could pay our staff fairly, and not only continue to make great content for you, but expand with new shows, new voices, all ad-free. And now with the addition of accessible options, didn't Moist Critical already cover this, that that seem like they are uh, a little off on their finances? That they should actually be making a huge, huge amount uh, compared to him? Maybe I'm wrong, and maybe he was wrong. If he's wrong, then he's wrong, but uh, this doesn't seem right. It's not adding up at this point. This is a decision that we all believe is the best for Watcher. However, we realized that in figuring out the logistics of what this might take, we overlooked the way it would impact all of you. Uh, we hope you'll be patient with us for these mistakes, and we remain incredibly sorry that they were made in the first place. We also want to directly address our Patreon community, who have played such a key role in supporting us from the very beginning. All current Patreon members will receive a free subscription code to the platform. If you already purchased a subscription, please contact us and we will issue you a full refund. It should have been in the beginning. We look forward to continuing to make shows and introducing all the incredible things that we've got planned for the platform alongside YouTube. And in the meantime, we are forever grateful to all of the people who make up our community and we hope that you consider joining us in this next chapter of our journey, whether that's on YouTube or on the platform. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. This is 100% PR. I mean, it's sad, and I don't want to just slam the guys. And I think they've been slammed quite a bit, a lot. Um, pretty well deserved. And I don't think they understand. I don't think this was the right direction. Now, a lot of their fans are saying thank you for apologizing, trying to set the record straight, which, yeah, fine. I will give them credit. This is probably a step in the right direction. But, I mean, the damage is done. It kind of showed that uh, you guys are willing to kind of bend everybody over for the money instead of just trying to be straight with the you know, whole situation. Now, yet again, I know I think Moist Critical covered a lot about the finances, and it almost seems like they're being slightly disingenuous with it. I'm not saying be fully transparent, but uh, there's a certain degree of liability behind it if you're expecting people to pay. And I saw a comment, and I'll go ahead and just repeat it because I thought it was funny. Basically, they're in Patreon with extra steps. And yeah, that's what they're doing. You, have, you If you have Patreon, you automatically get a free subscription. But instead of just doing it with Patreon, they're doing it with this service. I think it's so they can cut out like third-party stuff. I'm not sure. Not me making allegations. It just seems like they're trying to uh, benefit themselves with 100% of the money, which I'm not saying is a bad thing. It's just at this point in time, you should have redirected some of your finances to go back into your channel. Uh, I don't know. Like I may have made it off. I think I made it off uh, joke saying they're probably just doing a bunch of hookers and blow, but it's seeming more realistic because the way a lot of their channel runs. Now, I'm hoping that they're going forward, they'll kind of uh, correct a lot of this and maybe it will blow over. I don't know. This is going to, I don't know if this will blow up on them. Like, uh, you know, the completionist had a big issue, even though his was way worse. Uh, his whole situation with, with, with charity. Um, theirs is just trying to uh, completely forget about their, um, you know, their, their listeners, their watchers, their, their, you know, subscribers and their Patreon members. And that's the thing they did address. So I will give them credit. They addressed the fact that they did kind of, uh, you know, forget them. And that's the one thing I think a lot of uh, YouTubers that just completely lose track of everything. They lose track of the people that watch them and subscribe to them. When you have to, you know, I, I get there's a lot that I got to deal with. But at the same time, you still have to think of them first because they're the only reason why you get paid. That's the big difference between working at a, like a, you know, out there in the real world and working out, you know, working a job with YouTube or any other like uh, entertainment online type business, I say business, because uh, everybody's running their own business when it's your own channel. You have to run it the way you want to see fit, but you have to keep your finger on the pulse. You have to pay attention to what your subscribers like uh, to whatever degree, unless you've built up a base based off of whatever the hell you like and they just like it, you know, vicariously through you, uh, <clears throat> you're going to have to kind of work well within those boundaries. And that's where they were kind of about to fish their way out of and try to make it almost its own streaming service, which is a horrible idea. Now, this is at least going to keep some of their content on YouTube. Maybe it will help address some of the financial burden if they have it. I don't believe they do. But I'll give them benefit of the doubt. Maybe they're having issues and it's something that, uh, you know, we don't understand. 
I'm gonna go ahead and give it a like that. But I think this video is going on long enough. I hope you guys like it. Um, I do need to say, and I'm hoping I'm addressing this early enough, which I probably didn't. Don't give them any hate. Let them kind of ride it out the way they need to. If they fail, they fail on their own. Do not contribute to anybody's downfall. Please do not harass them. Uh, let it just kind of work itself out one way or another. But yeah, that's about all I got to say. Y'all have a good one.